The applicant, Randy Joseph, is just a member of the public. It's not a big company, corporation or anything. He just thought he was interested in, in green energy and developing and he's, he's um, a local so he was um, familiar with you know, different locations around here and he thought what better place to put a, a wind development than public lands <laughs> when he found out that, that that is something that we allow. It's just such a big undertaking for one single person and he made it um, a family project because he has two sons that he's trained and they go, I know one of them does the actual maintenance on the uh, towers. Family run, you know, most of the money is kept here. I think it's a good um, good addition to the economy it, around in Baker County. Some of the concerns that were brought forward are the, the impacts to birds and also bat. After we analyzed the local bird and bat population, we worked with our biologist to come up with a three-year monitoring plan for the bats. After that, we'll reassess and see if further monitoring needs to be done or if any changes to the monitoring plan need to be made. Well, I think because this was the first wind development project on BLM lands in Oregon. We wanted to be make sure we covered all our bases. So one of the interesting things that was brought forward by the tribes of concern to them was a Karen, which was in visual range of the project. So um, a Karen is a pile of rocks used for various things to mark, um, you know, cultural sites, um, routes, watering sites. It could be a burial site. Um, so we took that um, very seriously because we didn't know the source of it. Anybody can come up here any time of day. I mean, there's still grazing that goes on. The hunters can come up here. There's no gates, no, you know, no fences. It's still multiple use. Um, it's not an exclusive use of the area.